Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm starting the vlog today. It's Sunday morning. I'm at the hairdresser. I'm getting ready to get my hair done. So I wanted to show you the before and after. <laughs> so we're gonna go from this to, and it looks like that. Oh, so much better. I love the choppy, chunky, heavy bang. I don't love it when it was out to here. It's just a little too much. I'm not sure what that car was just doing. Let's go to Target, shall we? There's one right down the street from here. I need to get two gift cards for my cousins, the little ones. They're not little anymore. I feel like I've been buying back to school supplies. Well, Sarah's 30. Megan would be 33, my other niece. So I've been buying back to school supplies for my little nuggets for 33 years. And this is the first year that I don't have anybody to buy for. <laughs> now, Riley, my little cousin, he's not little, I love him. He starts college in two weeks. Well, the 19th of August. And his sister Addison starts high school. I don't know who let this happen, but it was not me. So I've just kind of always picked up school supplies for them when they were younger. And I would just snag their list and go get them what they needed and they would have it. But now they're in they're old enough and they want to go buy their own stuff and pick things out. Rude. So this year ugh, I'm giving them a um, gift card to Target so they can each go get what they need. Riley will need some stuff for the dorms and um, Addie will need some stuff for high school and I don't know that they have determined for her high school if they're allowed to have lockers or not this year they have to figure that out with COVID last year they didn't allow the kids to use lockers they had to carry book bags with all of their stuff all day long that's crazy so um, I'm not really sure what the situation is, but I figure if I get them a gift card to Target, everybody loves Target, and they can get the things that they need um, for school. So that's the plan. I'm going to run into Target. I also need to get the cats some dry food and probably a little bit of wet food if, I, if they have their preferred food in stock. And then we need to go home and I'm gonna put some chicken thighs. We're gonna make lemon garlic chicken thighs today. And then I need to do something with some pork chops. So I'll have meat for the whole week cooked. And then I need to film a Dollar Tree haul and I got to do a review. Some a company, which I need to read up on, sent me an automatic pet feeder for the boys. Um, yeah, so it'll feed Alex, my little chunky monkey, at specific intervals. So it'll say like, I'll set it up and it will like, say give him a quarter of a cup of food at 6 a.m. and a quarter of a cup of food at 6 p.m. or whatever intervals I want to feed him at. So yeah, I gotta do that video today too and then look at some of my Dollar Tree DIYs to see to bring you guys. See I got some Dollar Tree stuff right there and I ran out of space for all my coffee. Duncan happened this morning because um, well, coffee, but also because the stores that I went to were near Dunkin' Donuts. I'm debating if I need to run into Michael's to get some paint to do one of my DIYs. I don't think I have 
the yellow color that I need. So we'll see about that. Maybe I'll show you the paint selections at Michael's. I just need a couple little bottles of like a golden amber is kind of what I'm looking for. And I'm not sure if that will translate into an actual paint. So we're gonna have to kind of check it out. I may have to mix some colors myself. But I don't know that answer. But let's go in to Target and see what they have. Guys, I just got out of Target and I got the best deal. Okay, I bought a fan for my bedroom. Not the best deal, but you know, I'm at that time of my life, I need a fan at night. But, so I went to pick up the cat food for the boys and they have it here. Typically, I will get them a um, six pound bag and it's like $18, but it lasts, you know, a fair amount of time for them. So I was looking, looking, they didn't have the, ten, the six pound bag, but they had two three pound bags. Well, I was kind of bummed because I had a coupon that I thought was good on five pounds or bigger. It was a $4 off coupon, I had two of them. So I grabbed the two bags of the three pounds. They were regularly $10.99 a bag, on sale for $5.49 a bag. I'm not sure why they were clearancing them out, who knows. But I had, I looked at my $4 off coupons. They were good on three pound bags or larger. I just paid $1.49 each, so $3 for six pounds of my boys' cat food, which is normally $18.99. I know, exciting, right? And then I spent $50 on a fan. So there's that. Uh, $56.99 on a portable fan. Yeah. So there's that. But I needed it. And they only had two in stock because summer's over apparently I don't know but that's okay it's okay it's okay however that fan online was forty dollars so that's bizarre but we'll figure that out now we're gonna run over to Michael's and try to find some paint and then we're gonna go home and make some lemon chicken lemon garlic chicken thighs yum and some type of pork chop because that's what I took out to thaw last I took out on yesterday to thaw to have some meat in my refrigerator because you know we're gonna have these things right right I wonder if target price matches their online because that's $14 difference I'll have to find out at my store but anyway let's go look at paint shall we I'll show you what I get when I come out all right guys, we're home and I'm making lemon garlic chicken. I probably won't bake this till tomorrow since it's already one o'clock, but I just defawed, defawed? No, defrosted, uh, looks like five chicken thighs. So I put them in a baggie. In here I dissolved four packets of this true lemon, because I don't have any lemon juice, but I want lemon garlic chicken. So I dissolved four of those with some water. We need some olive oil in here. I don't have a lot of olive oil left right now. I do need to go buy some more though. So I'll just top this off. I have a vegetable oil, which I can also use if I don't have enough olive oil, which will be perfectly fine. And garlic. And then just a couple herbs. Yeah, I'll have to get some vegetable oil out one second. All right, just a little bit of vegetable oil. I just don't want it too acidic. Yeah, I think that's good. And then garlic. This is just pre-chopped garlic I get at Costco, but you can use regular garlic. If you don't have regular garlic, garlic powder. Um, I like a lot of garlic, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna put some heaping spoons in here yeah it's good and then take the oil off my hands um i love garlic guys but like i said if you don't have garlic use garlic powder you can use whatever you want and then i have some chopped chive which i think will bring some fun flavor to it i have some oregano we'll just put all that in there uh pepper 
regular or fresh ground. I just have this, so this is what I'll use. And I actually get this at Marshall's. It was $6 for all this pepper, and I've been using it for quite some time. So that's good. And then a little salt. And if you like heat, you can add a little red pepper flake. You can do whatever you like. I don't measure. I'll figure it out when it's in the oven tomorrow. And then I just shake it up. I definitely want it more lemony than oily, but that's what it looks like right now. Ooh, and I'm spilling water all over myself. So let's see, I'm just gonna do a little quick little taste to make sure. Look it up and taste it. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. I'm wet. Let me get a towel. My hand towel went in the sink. Got my leg all wet. It definitely needs more salt for all that chicken. And I think what I'll do is just let this sit for a minute and let the garlic kind of do its thing. Then I'll add it to this bag and put it in the, in the fridge. And that's it. Like, I'll just marinate it. I haven't decided if I want to make that today or if I want to make that tomorrow. I also have some pork chops in the fridge that I could cook up tonight. Just pan fry them and call it dinner, really. But that's it. That's my little marinade. I also would like to let the green rehydrate. The chives and the oregano get a little more rehydrated in here and then we'll do that and that's it now let's go see what I bought today all right boys and girls we've got a living room full of junk I just came home I went to Michael's which I told you and look what I found I gotta film that video here in a minute see what's in those boxes and while I was there and there's the cat food I got with the carrier Alex has to go back to the vet I found this Otlight brand. These are fantastic brand of lights. They're LED. This one has a magnifying glass in it right up here. So it's light lit and magnifier and it's a floor lamp. And what this is for is my cross stitching so I can see what I'm doing. So it lights it up and it uh, magnifies for me. This, if like you can see, was regularly $159.99. Okay, Alex, stop. It was regularly $159.99 on clearance for $59. Woohoo! All right, Alex. All right, buddy. You want to say hi? Okay. Hey, you want to say hi? He said, No, lady, I want you to pet me. I also picked up a, a foam roller for after I go to the gym. Hey, what you doing? What? Oh, buddy. Oh. He still does not want me anywhere near his mouth. It's better, but he's sensitive about it, right? Yeah. And Wellington's outside. It's a beautiful day. And then the only other thing I picked up today, <laughs> I'm taking you through my mess, is a new fan for my bedroom because I'm the lady of that age and I need a new fan. Mine isn't working great and this one will. So there's that. So that's it. Let's get a video made of my grab bag. All right, guys, we've decided we're gonna have pork chops for dinner tonight. So over here, I've got a pan heating and I'm just adding the butter and it's two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of um, olive oil. I can't give you this exact recipe because it's not mine, uh, but it is on Pinterest. And if I can remember, I will link it in the below uh, but this is paprika garlic salt and pepper and we're just gonna stir it up um yeah just like that now i did cut off the bone on my pork chops and i dried them off with a paper towel and then we're just going to season them hi bubba 
We're gonna season them up with all this seasoning. And yes, I'm using my hands, but I also have a soapy dish soap, a soapy sink behind me to wash them before I touch anything else. But we're just going to flip it over. And season the back side. And then I'm just heating up the pan. And all I'm gonna do is pan fry these till they're almost all cooked. Take them out onto this, a clean plate. I'm washing my hands while talking. And then we're gonna make, I'll bring you back when we make the sauce. It's a mushroom sauce. And then in the microwave, I have cauliflower. But this is just seasoning up the pork chops. And I'll let them sit here, like I said, until the we've got the butter and the oil coming to temperature over here. And I'll need to get a set of tongs out. So now I don't want to touch anything. So we're going to do these little ones first. Just these little pieces. And that way when I know the, heat, the stove or the oil is up to temperature, then I will know that I can put the other meat in. And this is a quick 30 minute meal, really. Um, the other ingredients are whipping cream and bone broth. Fun fact, I don't really like buying a lot of the broths because I don't eat it fast enough. But in this situation, <laughs> I'm getting my 50 year colonoscopy in two weeks. And I need bone broth to drink while I'm fasting and doing the prep. And if you're not 50 or haven't done it yet, yeah, you don't probably want to know. But um, I, what I'm going to do is take what I need for this recipe and I'm going to freeze the rest in, the, in my freezer in some container I need to find with the lid. But I'll put it in the freezer and then um, when that day comes, I can take it out and thaw it and drink it. Because uh, I looked it up, bone broth, chicken broth, it's only good three to four days after it's open in the refrigerator. So, we don't want that. But I can just throw it in the freezer, probably even in just this container. And then the day before, I can take it out and leave it to come, you know, thaw in the refrigerator. So I only need it for like one day. Or I could put it in a different container I can find that has a lid. But right now I'm just bringing this pan up to temperature and letting the pork chops just pan sear them. These are pretty thin, so they'll go fast. And then I'll bring you back when we make the sauce. All right, so now we've got the pork chops out. This is doing its thing. We are going to put the mushrooms in. It's a little more than what is called for, but that's okay. I like mushrooms. We're gonna let those cook down for a minute. And then this recipe calls for garlic and it calls for um, Italian seasoned salt and pepper. And I put some umami in it. I got this at Aldi a while ago, but it's really good. It's a it's a mushroom flavor, so I think it'll pair well in the sauce with my button mushrooms that are cooking down. So these are hot to cook down for a while, and I will put the seasonings in here, in with that, so they can kind of cook down as well. I always like to add the dry seasoning in with the oil just because it hydrates it a little better, I feel like. Garlic, however, if you're using fresh garlic, like this, raw, you, you don't want to put that in until it's almost done because it will burn. Garlic burns really easy in oil. So I will put the garlic in right before I put in or right after, you know, right before these mushrooms are done and right before I put the chicken broth and the cream in. So all I need to do right now, and this is gonna take a few, is just allow 
the mushrooms to cook down in the seasonings and the oil and butter. They're gonna cook down and then I'll bring you back when I add in the rest. And I wanna get these, this rice going a little better. And then this pan of pork chops and all their juices will go back in here and they'll simmer for a little bit to finish cooking. They're pretty much done but just to warm them back up and get them on their way. I probably should chop up some of these mushrooms at least in half, because they are kind of large. But yeah, I mean, heck, if you're a vegetarian, you could go from this point forward and forget about the pork chops and just do seasoned mushrooms in this gravy over cauliflower. But I am not a vegetarian, therefore, Mm, okay. I just want to make sure there was enough salt and there's plenty. So I'm going to let that cook down. Let that do its thing, which is nothing, but I need the mushrooms to cook and then we'll be back to make the salt. All right. Mushrooms are done. I'm going to put the garlic in. Let that cook. And I just want to let it cook down a little bit just to tame up the garlic flavor a little bit, but definitely not enough to burn it. And then, just let it go, let's taste it. Just a mushroom. Oh, so good guys. And that garlic is divine. All right, so this is chicken bone broth, actually, not chicken stock, but it's okay. Chicken chicken broth, bone broth. Bone broth, this has more collagen to it. So what you'll notice when this is cool is it'll be a little, a little more gelatinous from the collagen. But that's okay. So we're going to let this come up to temperature. Just warm up, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Because the next step is the cream. And it's a cup and a half. And then you just have to let the cream simmer to thicken. There's no flour in here, there's no gluten. Well, I'm saying there's no gluten for me, but I don't know what's in all the ingredients. How about that? And then we'll put the pork chops back in and let them come up to temperature since they've been sitting out while we make this sauce. Now, if you had a cast iron skillet, boy, that would be better. I don't. I'm a little nervous about cast iron on a glass stove. I know you can, but I don't know if I want to. It just makes me a bit nervous. I'll get a spoon and just see if it's temperature wise where we're at. Hmm, that's good. I may have to add just a little more salt at some point, but for now we'll leave it. It might be like a last minute addition. Just cause the bone broth doesn't really have any salt in it. So it kind of thinned it out a bit. All right, here we go. You don't want to put this in when it is too hot. It will curdle or it, I guess it can curdle. And then we're just going to let this simmer bring this up to temperature because it's not cold i've had it sitting out but it certainly isn't warm so we'll let this do its thing and as it comes to temperature and to a simmer it will thicken naturally i did see a couple recipes where people put parmesan cheese in it to thicken it up so maybe depends how thin or thick it is when it's up to temperature for me but right now we're just gonna stir it around and let it simmer away for a minute. And then add the meat back in and let that come to temperature. So we just let it sit, let it take its time. All right, there we go, guys. Here's what I would say. Use a little less cream, it's a little thin or let it cook longer before you add your meat back in. But this is just some steamed uh, rice cauliflower and this, I did chop up the pork 
in the mushrooms, in the mushroom gravy, and it tastes like, um, it definitely tastes like a cream of mushroom soup, but not from a can. So exciting, yay! All right guys, I'm gonna rest for the night and clean up my house. I will talk with y'all later.